Hi Crazies, today we're going to do a painting sesh with our special guest, Ate Jella. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, widely beloved British children's book by Lewis Carroll, published in 1865. With its fantastical tales and riddles, it became one of the most popular works of English language fiction. It was notably illustrated by British artist John Tenniel. The story centers on Alice, a young girl who falls asleep in a meadow and dreams that she follows the white rabbit down a rabbit hole. She has many wondrous, often bizarre adventures with truly illogical and strange creatures. Often changing size unexpectedly, she grows as tall as a house and shrinks to 3 inches and 7 centimeters. She encounters the hookah smoking caterpillar, the duchess, with a baby that becomes a pig, and the Cheshire cat, and she attends a strange endless tea party with the Mad Hatter and March Hare. She plays a game of croquet with an unmanageable flamingo for a croquet mallet and uncooperated hedgehogs for a croquet balls. While the queen calls for the execution of almost everyone present, later at the queen's behest, the Gryphon takes Alice to meet the sobbing mock turtle. who describes his education in such subjects as ambition, distraction, uglification, and derision. Alice is then called as a witness in the trial of the Knave of Hearts, who is accused of having stolen the Queen's tarts. However, when the Queen demands that Alice be beheaded, Alice realizes that the characters are only a pack of cards, and she then awakens from her dream. Risk has rewards. Sure, crawling down a rabbit hole might be too big of a risk in the world, but Alice's decision to follow the white rabbit leads to magical journey. 
It's not all smooth sailing as she encounters obstacles, gets lost, and the Queen of Hearts is obsessed with taking her head. But by the time Alice wakes up from Wonderland, she's armed with new experiences to help navigate her life. Though taking risks can be scary, like crawling down a rabbit hole, but standing still can be scarier. Without taking risks and challenging ourselves, we don't grow. We really shouldn't be doing this after all. We haven't been invited and curiosity often leads to trouble. The more curious you are, the more you'll discover. Discover who you are. When the caterpillar asks Alice, who are you? She can't find a simple answer. Not just because she shifted sizes so much since falling down the rabbit hole, but because Alice is unsure just who she is. While Alice's adventure might seem mad on the surface, its main goal is answering the caterpillar's question and figure out the greatest puzzle of all. Who in the world am I? Life can also seem mad, but by discovering who we are and accepting ourselves, assures a much smoother ride through our journey. Also included in this idea is Alice's own lesson on advice. She generally gave herself very good advice, though she very seldom followed it. By learning to listen to our instincts and be a little more objective, we can apply the wisdom we give to others to ourselves. Accept the differences of others. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad. Learning to accept who we are is one of life's greatest lessons. But so is learning to accept the differences in others. Even if we are certain of who we are, the people around us aren't always going to be who we want them to be. And that's fine. Celebrating people's differences makes life more interesting, exposes us to new perspectives and opens new worlds, just like Wonderland. Don't get stuck in the past. It's no use going back to yesterday. I was a different person then, Alice tells the Mock Turtle and Gryphon. While this shows just how much has happened to Alice since her journey began, Lewis Carroll imbues the line with multiple meanings. Alice's adventures are about personal evolution, and this lesson affirms that by reminding ourselves that we've grown since yesterday, a week ago, a year ago, or decades ago, by closing past chapters, we can write our future without stewing on the regrets, mistakes, and disappointments we all encounter. Accepting other people is good, but sometimes people are just jerks. The Queen of Hearts, for example, just gets her excitement from belittling, berating, and beating her subjects, including her own husband. When precious Alice enters her kingdom, the queen gets bulletins and rolling in her eyes, just like bullies the world over. But one of the most important lessons for any young person to learn is not to let bullies get you down and always stand up for yourself. I hope you like this video and don't let pandemic stop us from being creative crazies. See you in the next video. Suggest an activity that you want us to do next. Comment down below. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell.